my hair journey has been a journey okay what's up y'all it's your girl ducky back with another video and this is the day i have finally decided to post my curly hair journey won't he do it this has been the most requested the most delayed and the most detailed video i have ever been asked for ever been contemplating posting and um putting out there so y'all this is it like this is it i'm i'm nervous because i want this to come out right i want it to be good you know what i mean um i want y'all to really understand where i came from with my hair so i'm nervous and i'm excited to finally do this video so if you would like to see my hair journey and how i got to this right here just stay tuned because we are really about to just jump right into it I'm going to be using my phone to reference pictures um, and I know I'm off center that's because I'm gonna put any pictures or clips that I have right here um, that way you can see me and see the pictures at the same time so from the time that I was born up until like five years old six years old seven years old up until basically elementary school I was wearing um, well, from the time when I was a baby, I was born bald and I had like a little patch on my head. And um, I have like a picture you can rarely see, but I have like baby hairs, a patch, and then it's like very faint hair after that. My mom would always put my hair in these like these twists, these barrettes and ballies, um, braids, protective styles like that. So I never really wore my hair straight. That was up until like elementary school then once I got into elementary school I would only get my hair straightened for like special occasions like Resurrection Sunday Christmas um, I got it straightened for my mom's wedding like very rare occasions so my mom had my hair natural all the time so then moving into middle school that's when I started doing my own hair y'all and it just was like a mess so I know these pictures y'all about to see they, these are never before seen pictures so listen y'all just okay just um Okay, you're just gonna see what you're gonna see. But I was wearing braids, I was wearing yarn braids. I was also straightening my hair a lot um, because I was trying to get a feel for like what I liked for my hair. And I went to an all white school, so they had a lot to do with how I, how I looked at myself and how I portrayed myself, I wanted to fit in. This was not the look at my school. Like everybody straight, straight hair, beach wave hair, like it was white girl, you know what I'm saying? Like I was highly influenced by the uh girls at my school so i was never wearing my hair like this it was always straight and if i wore it curly it was in like a ponytail a high ponytail or a bun it was never out like this so i was wearing my hair straight you know what i mean like feeling myself because i was listen i was it was oil in the flat iron all the time i was just straightening my hair okay that was middle school and then once i hit high school it was a wrap it was no more high puff ponytails. It was no more none of that. It was flat iron every day. Like, I, my hair was straight every day. The only time it wasn't straight was when I was washing my hair. To blow dry it, to straighten it again. Like, my hair was straight all of the time. I would do, like, um, I would do, like, bantu knot outs because those gave me, like, the beach wave vibes. But it was never this. And I couldn't get it back to this if I wanted to because it was damaged at that point. But I didn't know. Like, I didn't realize my hair was damaged. I'm just like, oh, it's, it's my hair. Like, I didn't know there was such thing as, like, natural, naturally curly hair. Like, I just was straightening my hair. It was just what it was. Oh, so, yeah, I was straightening my hair. And in high school, I got my first streak of blonde on the side. My mom did it. Cause I really wanted my hair colored. My mom and my aunt colored her all the time and I really just wanted my hair colored or whatever. So she put this like streak of blonde in my hair and I was like, well that's cute. And then she did another one over here and then eventually I got blonde highlights all throughout my hair and then I got um, like a blonde brownish ombre just like everywhere. Like it was just, it ended up being like pretty much blonde everywhere. But yeah, I was straightening my hair all the time. You know what I'm saying? I still got like braids. Um, I got my first sew in in 2018. That wasn't 2018, that was 2016. My first sewing in 2016, um, and it was for my aunt's wedding. It was super last minute, that's the only reason I got it. But it maintained, I was at the beach, so it did its job. But like, I, I wore braids, yarn braids, box braids, 
and straightened hair. That's it. When my hair wasn't in a protective style, it was straightened. So yeah, that's how I managed it in high school. You know what I'm saying? Then when I hit college, bruh. It, okay, so when I was in high school, it wasn't as bad as I thought, like as I'm thinking it is right now, but because when I hit college, that's when it really got bad. Like it got to the point where I would comb through my hair and like six and seven strands of hair would come out at a time. Like my hair was literally so weak and damaged. It was horrible. Like I was straightening my hair every day, coming home from class, washing my hair like every day. And I was so active freshman year. Like I was always outside with my friends or like, you know how to kick back or something. So I was straightening my hair all the time. Like, listen, all the time, all the time, y'all. Y'all wanna see these pictures? Bruh, it's a, my hair is a mess. My hair is a mess, absolute mess. Like I went and got um a bob. I got like this bob and then I colored it like this, this reddish color. Um, But even after that, like it's still, it grew back. My hair would only grow to like right here, like a little past shoulder length. It never grew anything past that. When I was younger, my hair was down in the middle of my back, like just the middle, just like right to the middle of my back, like um where your bra, where your bra comes on your back. But when I got older and I kept straightening my hair, it just kept falling off, fall, I mean breaking off, breaking off, breaking off. So it never grew back to its that length or whatever. So it just grew to right here. So when I hit college, I cut it. Let me backtrack. In middle school, I got a bob. I got a bob twice. I don't know if I have any pictures of those. If I do, I don't know if I'm gonna put them in here. But yeah, back to college freshman year, I got another bob and it was cute. And I got my little feather bang. I was I stayed rocking a feather bang like, and that started in high school too. I got a feather bang and this was popping ten. This was popping ten. Okay. So yeah, I was straightening my hair, straightening my hair. child. It was bad, it was really bad. Um, It got to the point where like, even when I washed my hair, it was straight. Like it had a, such a limp wave to it, it was terrible. Spring semester of my freshman year, I was transitioning my hair without knowing I was transitioning. Like I was wearing a protective style and I had it in for a long time. They were these yarn locks that I'll insert a picture of. Um, and I had those in for like, maybe like two and a half months, three months most, but I did red and then I took the red ones out retwisted them and then I did green or so I had those in for a while and then uh, my hair was growing out it just always grew to right here like I said it never passed that length and then once it hit summer 2017 I was like my hair is a mess I don't know where it came from that I realized like my hair was a mess it was God that's what it was it was God and he says sis you about to be bald okay so I realized my hair was a mess and I stopped putting heat in it. Like I just would wear low buns, high buns. If I, only time I really put heat in it was when I had somewhere to go and I really had to, you know, like look, you know what I'm saying, presentable. But for the most part, I was wearing my hair away, like it was away. And I remember one night staying up super late on YouTube watching hair journey videos. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like, my hair is a mess. I did so much damage to my hair. And then I seen all these girls, they, they kind of had similar stories, like they're damaging their hair with heat and color. Um, and it was just bad. So I was I was like, you know what? I'm gonna find me a, a protein treatment. I'm gonna find me a mask and I'm gonna do the mask and it's gonna revert my hair. So mind you, the time that I transitioned my hair, I had grew out maybe like four inches of hair when I was transitioning. So that hair was not damaged, right? So when I went to go make the treatment mask, I put like mayonnaise, eggs, olive oil, like all the stuff I was seeing on YouTube, literally that same night, it was like three o'clock in the morning. And I found this um, Jamaican black castor oil by Shea Moisture Deep Treatment Mask and I mixed that in there too. And I put it in there and I uh, let it sit and then I rinsed it out and I was like, this didn't do nothing to my hair. Like I was expecting I was expecting a miracle. I was expecting straight hair to look like this. And it was because I seen the videos, a 15 minute video showing years. Like I wasn't, it wasn't connecting in my head that it was years, you know what I mean? That had passed for their hair to get to where it was um, from where it had been or whatever. So I was like, oh my gosh, like this is crazy. And I was trying to figure out how not to big chop because I didn't want to at the time. So I just was like trying to put these masks in and it wasn't working and then eventually 
Um, I was still not putting heat in my hair. And I remember I was, on, I was on a road trip or whatever. And I was on my way to Ohio or on my way back. And I said to mom, I said, Auntie, I want you to cut my hair off. And she was like, are you sure? And I was like, yes. Cause I was I was done at that point. Like I was just like I need to cut it off. There's no saving it. There's no overnight mask that can fix this. Like it was just a mess up. So I was just ready to get rid of it. So she was like, okay, but once you do it, there's no going back. And I said, bet. So we had came back from that trip or whatever, and I had <laughs> just got hype one night and cut the back of my hair. So what I did was I found the line of demarcation in the back part of my hair, like this part, and I just cut it. And I cut it and I was so excited, like I couldn't believe how good the hair that I transitioned with when I had those yarn braids, that hair that grew out, I couldn't believe how um, healthy it looked compared to my straight hair. So I was doing little um, styles back there with the back, but I couldn't do much to it because it was only the back of my hair that was cut. So I ended up having to wear low buns for like a month. But then once she cut my hair, y'all, Ha! Come on, tell him. I, I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous when she was cutting it because I didn't know what I was gonna look like. I've never seen my head shape before. I've only seen pictures of me bald as a baby. I didn't know if I had dents and stuff. I mean, I could feel my head and know, but you never really know till you're bald head. So I was nervous, like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna look so weird with this cut. And I'm like nervous in the chair. And I seen the picture of hair on the floor and I was like, I mean, I seen the hair on the floor and I was like, it was like seven, eight inches of hair, y'all. So I was, shook to say the least and i went in the mirror when i looked in the mirror for the first time after big chopping my hair i was like who is she she is me and she is popping period i was on a whole nother level of confidence like immediately i don't know where it came from i don't know why i don't know how mind you i didn't even know what to really do with my hair at that time. But just the simple fact that like, I guess it was just like a weight lifted off my shoulders of not having to fit into that white girl stigma that was put into my head for 13 years, literally. Um, and just like freeing myself of that damage and that dead weight. Like it just was like, a, it was a mental big chop and it was a physical big chop. Like I felt like a brand, a literally brand new person, literally. And then after we, I big chopped, it was like a couple days past and I was back on the road again um, performing. And so I had to figure out what to do with my hair and I was so nervous and it was like my first show after being on the stage with a full head of hair and then now I'm on the stage ball. So it was just like weird. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna do with my hair. And then everybody that I was traveling with, they were like, let me see your, let me see your. I was like, no, you gotta wait, you gotta wait. Cause I was nervous, like I loved myself, like obviously, but I didn't, I was nervous about like how other people were gonna like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't want people to be like, oh my God, you shouldn't have did that. You know what I'm saying? Cause they just, yeah, I was just nervous. So I had um, officially styled my hair and I don't know what to call this child. I just, I ain't even gonna say it's a wash and go. I just was putting stuff. I just was doing stuff, I don't know. But yeah, I came back from that trip and obviously, you know, I had to put some color in my hair because that's just who I am. And I said, auntie, I want some color in my hair. So she put some, um, black plum and blonde in my hair and I was rocking that for a good while I was rocking that for a while and then November 2017 I had got box braids so I had uh, protective style for a while and then I was doing a lot of twist outs braid outs I wasn't doing a whole lot of wash and goes um because I wasn't really I wasn't really, I was hip to it, but I wasn't really feeling it with the shortcut. So I was doing like twist outs and stretched out styles that gave me a little bit of length. Um, and I was doing a, a whole lot, 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 a whole lot of finger coiling. I was doing finger coils to the death of me. The reason I was doing finger curls so much is because I was trying to train my curls because they were just kind of like everywhere. So I was trying to train my curls to um, coil a certain way. Um, coiled together and not like just be all over the place. February 2018 is when I started like wearing wash and goes and I started like I started putting like little styles in the front like um, You know crisscross ponytails like little half up half down stuff and I would do like little braids Going back just like little cute styles because I was kind of in an awkward stage where I didn't know what to do with my hair at that time because it was like not super short but it wasn't long so I, it was like that awkward stage like i feel like everybody has an awkward stage it was like that super awkward stage and i just was like 
do I do this or do I do this? I don't know. I protect this out again and I did some yarn locks and it was because I was going to Africa so I needed some protective style because sis was not about to be doing her hair in Africa. At this point in my hair journey, I knew how to do my hair. I knew um, how to style my hair the proper, because I was doing, I was looking up a lot of stuff on YouTube. So I knew to wash my hair every week, once a week, deep condition every week, once a week, protein treatments every now and then. Like I knew what my hair needed and stuff. So I was just doing that. And I was doing protective styles a lot too. So um, my hair growth was like boom, 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 boom. Because I was taking great, I still do take care of my hair, but like I was, taking great, great care of my hair. So it was growing like a weed. And then y'all, out of nowhere, I swear it was like, it was April, um, 2018. It was out of nowhere. My hair just, boom, got like this big fro. And sis was feeling herself. I remember I did this no gel wash and go. I used Garnier Fruities leave-in, their buttercream leave-in conditioner as my styler, right? And I didn't put nothing else in my hair. I put oil on my scalp, but nothing else in my hair, y'all. My hair was popping 10. I wore this wash and go for like eight days, y'all, straight. I, I literally remember the day. It was the first day I ever fluffed my hair with a blow dryer and picked it out. Because I would usually let it air dry and it would be like, and then as the days went on, it would get bigger. But this was the, the first time I ever diffused and fluffed my hair like, I, I remember this day. I remember this day like, oh my gosh, I remember this day like it was yesterday, it was crazy. And I always wanna go back and cut my hair to this length because I love this length so much. I don't know why I just love it. It was so full and luscious. Like, at this point I had hit I feel like I peaked in my hair journey because it was like my hair was at a good length. I could manage it. I could do so much with it. And it wasn't too long. It wasn't too short. It was healthy. It was growing. You know what I mean? Like I was very comfortable in this stage. Then I cracked. And I did my first blowout. Um, I really did it because my ends needed to be clipped and I had a banquet to go to so I needed I wanted to do something cute like I'm not to say that my curly hair wasn't cute but I wanted to do something different and cute so like I straightened it and well my roommate straightened it for me but like I got it straightened and I did damage it obviously because I was really I was really careful and cautious about how to straighten my hair while being natural and stuff because y'all know I came from like eight nine years of maybe even 10 years of complete heat, like straight heat. So I was very cautious and y'all was feeling it. Like it was a cute little, it was a cute little bob, sunlight, 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 you know what I'm saying? It was really cute. And then hit the summer of 2018 and I'm just rocking the fro that I love. Like it was this, the length was, it was just getting bigger and bigger. It wasn't falling yet. Like my hair is officially falling. Like it's it's not going up unless I cut it, which I'm thinking about. Them. But it's um it's getting bigger and bigger. And I'm just like, bro, I was loving 2018 for like I really was. Um, and then I protected style again with some yarn locks that I did myself, butt length, and they were super cute. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Did that, and then. July 2018 was the last, July 19th to be exact, 2018 was the last day I was my natural hair color because July 20th, 2018, I bleached my entire head, y'all. My whole entire head, like, duh. I left like an inch and a half maybe off my roots but I bleached that whole joint, the whole thing. And it didn't fall out, and it didn't break off, and it didn't become mad. It changed my, it changed my porosity, um, and that's why I have two different porosities now, but, but I still knew how to take care of my hair because I was taking care of it before. July 20th, 2018, I was blonde. The girl was loving it, the girl was feeling it, the girl was Marilyn Monroe, like, sis was, I loved this blonde, y'all. November 2018, I colored my hair purple. And I did everything that was blonde, I put purple. So, And I think this was the best my fro had ever been. It was the biggest it ever got standing up. It was, I had so much volume, y'all. Like, it was popping. Like, it was perfect shape. Like, it was, 
After I went purple, January 2019, I did some, I did some feeding braids for me, so I did another protective style. I freshened up my purple color, and then I did yarn locks. Again, as y'all can see, yarn locks. Yarn locks really help grow my hair, so that's why I put them in all the time. So after I took those yarn locks out, I had so much length, my, my fro was falling at this point. Like, you can see in this, this clip that my fro was like, it was coming down and I was nervous because I was like, oh my God, I'm losing my big fro. But I still had the big popping pineapple at the top. You know what I mean? I think it was 2019. I got my first closure. Got my first closure styled by Mish on Instagram. She put the at right here. You know what I'm saying? She's popping. Get with her. She lives in Philly and she does hair up school of IUP. So if you go to IUP, if you live in Philly, get, a, get at her. Get at her. Yeah, so this is the first closure I had. So it was different, but it was cute. I let I rocked it, you know what I'm saying? I did my thing with it. I took my sewing out and I went blue on y'all. I went royal blue. Yes, I was blue for a long period of time. And honestly, I loved it. Like, I don't know which color was my favorite color of colors that I've done, but I love the blue. It was popping, it was vibrant, it was it was it was giving. Giving was supposed to be gave. After I went blue, I put another protective style in and I put some passion twists in and I had those in for a long time, y'all. I put them in July 26, 2019. I had those in for a long, 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 long time and I was refreshing them as I kept them in. So after I took my passion twists out, I went royal blue on the top and I basically just changed this back color to green. It was Electric Lizard, I think it's called, by Panic Manic. At this point, my hair was I was still treating my hair like I could I could achieve, achieve that super huge fro, but it was falling. So like my hair was, um, it was like officially like, not coming here to where it's at right now, but it was close. Like it was like a little bit shorter than this. And I was nervous because it was like, I'm missing my fro again. So, and then I blew my hair out, clipped my ends, straightened it. And I had it straight for a little bit, you know what I'm saying. When I bleached my hair, I also straightened it and trimmed my ends as well. So this will be my fourth time straightening my hair, um, being natural. When I went purple, I straightened my hair, trimmed my ends. When I went blue-green, I straightened my hair and trimmed my ends. So we're on maybe trim number four, trim number five. After that, I protective styled with braids. And I got these box braids and I had them in for a long time. They was cute. They was real cute. I ain't gonna hold. They was cute. I might have to get some of them again. Um, I had those in for a long time. This is December 2019 now. So we've jumped from 2016 to 2019. So I took those out. I blew my hair out, clipped my ends, straightened my hair. And I wore my hair straight for a little bit and then I went back natural. Well, went back curly. Um, and then, February 2020, I went orange, baby girl. Yes, I went orange. And I loved, and still love this orange. This orange, when I first came out as orange, it was popping so crazy. Like, it was so crazy. And it still pops. It's a little faded right now, but it still pops. I went orange and here we are today still orange so my hair journey has brought me from a long 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 I got a long it's brought me a long way I went from trying to change the way I look to fit in with people that I'm not even really friends with anymore like I don't even really speak to people that I'm in, that I went to high school with to loving myself for who I am and everything that God has given me like I love my hair I love my hair. I love where it's brought me to. I love the level of confidence it's given me. I am, I'm humbly like so confident in myself and I love myself so much in the most healthy way that you can love yourself. And it's just like the greatest thing, you know what I'm saying? So if you're considering big chopping or transitioning, just do it. Just go ahead and jump. Don't dibble and dabble, just jump in wherever you feel comfortable. If you wanna transition for a while, and then cut off if you want to transition until you grow it out. If you want to just cut it off, do you, sis. Do you. Do you, because the only person that's going to take care of your hair is you. Better listen now, I'm telling you, that's a word. 
so nobody else can tell you what to do with the hair that you're taking care of so do what works for you do what's best with your hair and love your hair in every process that it takes you in because it's your hair it's what god gifted you with it's what god gave you so love it and appreciate it and enjoy it and have fun with it you know that's it y'all that's all i got to say y'all i'm so happy i finally did this video i finally given y'all what y'all have been requesting for literally years and i'm cool now i can just chill i'm so hyped that i did this i'm so hyped that i'm done with it um but yes this is my hair journey and i hope y'all enjoyed the embarrassing pictures that came with it and the embarrassing footage and the lip footage and the cute pics and all that stuff this is that video for y'all it took a lot of patience and a lot of um thinking a lot of preparing to get it together a lot of searching through archives and footage and stuff so i really hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure you like please comment and tell me what you liked what you're going through tell me about your hair journey tell me about your experience and subscribe to my channel i have the bangers coming we have fun over here we get lit we have a good time you know what i'm saying so subscribe because we i want you to have a good time with us subscribe and please, please, please stay tuned for more. I appreciate you guys so much. That's it for me. Of course, follow me on Instagram. You know it's going to be right here. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.